All right, guys, so tomorrow got the 10 cat uh, KBF tournament up on the Cherokee. So just want to give you guys a quick rundown of the uh, Hobie Pro Angler that I picked up from Frontier Outdoors, been working on it all week. Um, but of course it's been pouring down rain, so uh, it's been hard to get out on the water. Um, plus with, without the time change, it gets dark too quick. So, uh, so tomorrow will be the first day I've had it out on the water. So I've kind of just rigged it. Um, in the garage and hope for the best hope i don't have to move a lot of things um, try to keep it pretty simple and uh, so anyway so here's the the hobie pro angler 14 for this 2019 season so you'll notice on a pro angler 14 is the size of the storage in the uh, on the bow of the boat so as you can see the storage containers in it it's nice deep huge storage uh, great for your rain gear um, your dry bag with your change of clothes in it lunch whatever um, you can you can put that in there it's a huge container so you can put a lot of stuff in there and um, and it'll, mine will definitely be full like everybody else's so the next thing you'll notice is whenever you pull that tub out is you've got three rod holders on each side um, that's a great feature as far as you can actually lay your rod tips in. You don't have to worry about your tips getting broke or getting hung on low-lying trees or whatnot if you're fishing rivers or up against the bank. I utilize the uh, Hobie 8-inch round hatch battery insert, um, and it also has a place for you to mount it to your sail mast. I did that. I pushed it all the way down. It's nice and secure. Um, don't have to worry about it. I ran a piece of 18-2 SO cord back to a waterproof uh, junction box back into the middle hatch. It's actually underneath the middle hatch on the side. Um, fits perfectly there, so it's out of the way. It doesn't. Uh, don't have to worry about getting water in it or anything like that. So that's uh, that's the front of the boat, and that's where my battery is going to live. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is. It come, all the pro anglers come with this piece of uh, track and uh, I utilize that for my GoPro mounts. I made homemade one here with a toilet bowl uh, bolt and a quarter inch bolt. But anyway, I've got one facing off to the side and one facing back towards me. Um, I don't utilize, I don't put a USB port in mine. I just use a USB cord and a external uh, 10,000 milliamp battery pack that you can pick up for your cell phone. I don't have to worry about my battery on my GoPro all day um, that way and it's just easier for me not to have to run a bunch of wires and, and try to get it all hooked up this short of time. Um, you'll see this is a just a one inch Rambo mount and you can put GoPro pieces on here. You can buy different things, cell phones, whatever you want to put on it. Um, it's actually a selling mask if you take this out. You can buy the Hobie cell and put it on it. I will not be using that. Um, you can see with your rod tubes enter into the hole, and that, of course, that's on both sides. So, uh, looking forward to that. It's gonna make it easier to transport. The the power behind this thing is the uh, Hobie Mirage 180 drive. It's got reverse, uh, and it's this year or. For me, the, the big change is going to be the turbo fins. Uh, I had the 18 Outback last year, and just had the standard fins on. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that's, how much difference there is in that. I'm on back, I've got the Lowrance 9Ti uh, unit with side scan, and it's all hooked up to the H rail through a Hobie H uh, Ramball mount, and then a, a Ram mount Lowrance kit. So I've got that hooked up. It's a good mount, good solid mount. Um, don't have to worry about that going anywhere. I chose for right now to utilize the way that the Hobie PA comes with the two 3600 uh, boxes. I've got terminal tackle in one and I've got specialty tackle, my Nico, my shaky heads and things like that in the other. Um, and then of course, like I said, my waterproof box and everything is actually underneath here up against the, the side of the boat and it fits perfectly so I don't have to worry about that getting all through. Um, the one other nice feature on the, on any of the Hobies is the Hobie through hole kit and this just makes running wires in this boat uh, just effortless. Um, definitely a lot easier you don't have to worry about drilling it comes pre-installed. It's got different size grommets it's got some one hole some two hole grommets and I've utilized a two hole grommet here 
I ran my transducer, my power cable for my Lowrance unit. It's got a seal behind it, so once you screw it back down, everything's sealed up, watertight. And it comes with one on both sides, so you can, if you like to have your uh, electronics on the other side, it's already pre-drilled for you. Um, you'll notice some of the cords here. These are all just for transducers and rudders, and uh, then you got two on the other side. One's for your kickstand for your seat to make it go to the low and high position, and then the other one is for the skeg. Um, and then you have a rudder tension control knob here, so you can tighten it or loosen however you'd like it. Uh, it's got storage underneath the front seat with a strap down. Um, I just put my spinner baits in, in the uh, Okeechobee Fat Crawl uh, box and then also just a, I just utilized just a regular uh, tool bag and put all my plastics in it. Um, the Probably the most exciting feature that I've got for this year coming from the Outback. The Outback seat is, is comfortable but it sits low. It's a, it's a different design. So this one sits up higher. And it also is adjustable. You can adjust the bottom and you can adjust the back. And this one also has lumbar like the Outback. So um, super comfortable seat, um, a lot of adjustable uh, adjustability in it so that you can get it to fit you perfectly and make sure that you're supported uh, for the long day. So on the back of the seat, I've got the Hobie bag. It's not waterproof. So this has got my thermocell in it. It's got my, I mean, I've got toilet paper, first aid kit, just all those type of things in there. But if you put anything in this bag, make sure that you have a Ziploc bag because like I said, it's not waterproof. It's just made for storage. So uh, I like to put all that type of stuff back here so it's out of my way, but I know where it's at. Um, the next thing you'll see is the Hobie tackle tray. And I'm gonna utilize that on the inside of the gunnel. Um, it's actually, most people put it on the outside. But it fits perfectly right there, and I'm, I won't be able to utilize my rod holders on that side, but I'm going to try it tomorrow and just see how I like it. I'm going to use that as my dump bin as far as for just whenever you get a, cut a bait off, you can just dump it there. Um, pick up trash, you can throw it underneath and make sure that it stays in the boat. So I'm going to utilize it like that and see how, uh, how it works out. And if I don't like it, I'll flip it to the outside of the boat, and we'll go from there. But uh, moving on back, you'll notice I've got the Yak Attack Black Pack. Um, so I've got five rod tubes on it and I've put a piece of gear track on the side here and utilized a ram ball, one inch ram ball, one inch ram ball extension. And then I've put a one inch ram ball on my visicarbon light and flag. Um, this way I can, I can adjust it. I can utilize my black pack instead of having to drill a hole into the kayak. So, uh, I'm going to try it that way and see how I like it. Um, I'm not committed to anything this way. Next thing you'll notice is my Bending Branches Sunrise Paddle. I hope not to have to use that a whole lot other than whenever I launch and if I get into shallow water. But uh, it's nice to have. And if you're going to be paddling, definitely want to make sure you get a good paddle. Um, invest in a good paddle. And Bending Branches has got great paddles. And uh, they've got anything from just an entry-level paddle all the way up to more advanced uh, and lighter weight paddles. So... Uh, make sure you check those out if you're going to be paddling a lot. And then uh, obviously you get the cup holder with the pro angler and the buck rod holder there. These are your turning knobs. You've got one on each side, um, which is nice. If you're fighting a fish, you can just reach down and grab that um, no matter which hand your rod's in. So anyway, guys, uh, that's, that's just a walkthrough of my Hobie pro angler. Uh, I picked it up at Frontier Outdoors. If you're in the market for a kayak, make sure you check them out in Kingston, Tennessee. We carry eight different brands, um, all the top of line brands, and we've got a kayak for everybody. So um, if you're in the market, make sure you check those guys out. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's the lineup for the rest of the way the Hobie's going to be set up for the start of 2019. And uh, I look forward to it. So. All right, guys, so that's just a quick walkthrough of the uh, Hobie Pro Angler 14. Um, look forward to getting out in it, like I said earlier, and, and just getting out in it, just getting out on the water. Um, we've uh, had a lot of rain, so not high expectations for tomorrow, but hopefully I can find the right five fish and, and get into the, the top of the, uh, the standings there. But make sure you like my Facebook page. Um, I'm going to be trying to keep up to date with everybody. Um, I'll do some videos throughout the year, um, just different things. 
Um, I've already got one in the works for a uh, what I call just a uh, breakdown bag and that's just a bag that I carry that's got all kinds of different parts and pieces in it that'll help me get back on the water um, in case of a mechanical failure or electronics failure so anyway stay tuned for that video I'll make sure to have it put up uh, here in the next couple weeks but uh, I appreciate you guys and look forward to the 2019 season and hopefully we have a successful 2019 season but just the fact that I get to be out on the water and fishing makes it a blessed uh, year and I'm very grateful for the opportunities I have this year so thank you guys God bless and I'll see you next time